4 in Motion, I'm Kurt Parker. Science education and research have been central to Penn State's mission throughout the school's vast history. The university has pioneered a variety of important scientific discoveries and breakthroughs, from early agricultural science research to modern-day nanotechnology. Penn State is recognized globally as a valued leader in scientific exploration and achievement. The intellectual achievements of these men and women are momentous. In a single room, we have thinkers who help formulate and refine the Big Bang Theory of the universe, the bootstrap resampling technique of statistics, the algebraic K-theory of mathematics. We have experts in fields like organometallic chemistry, atomic physics, and neurobiology. We have researchers who have drilled into glaciers, isolated the DNA of mobile genes, and pioneered the distributed feedback laser. Now, we got some smart people here. <laughs> and we're glad you're Americans. Nina V. Fedorov, the Vern M. Willeman Chair in Life Sciences and Evan Pugh Professor at Penn State, is one of eight scientists named by President Bush to receive the 2006 National Medal of Science, the nation's highest award for lifetime achievement in scientific research. She received the award at a White House ceremony on Friday, July 27th. Fedorov is Penn State's third recipient of this honor. She joins Erwin Mueller, who was recognized in 1997 for his achievements in the world of physics. Mueller invented the field ion microscope and became known as the first person to see an atom. Statistician C.R. Rao, holder of the Eberly Family Chair of Statistics, was presented the award in 2002 for his groundbreaking work that pioneered the foundation for modern statistical analysis. Nina Fedorov is one of the nation's most prominent researchers in life sciences and biotechnology. Her work has led to breakthroughs in the understanding of how plants genetically protect themselves from environmental stresses and changing climates. In addition to winning the National Medal of Science, Dr. Fedorov was named by U.S. Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice to be her new science and technology advisor. Fedorov was nominated for the position by the National Academy of Sciences. She will begin serving a three-year term as science and technology advisor in August while on leave from her current position at Penn State. For In Motion, I'm Kurt Parker.